Hi guys, Louie here and welcome back to Acorn Hill. Welcome also to the first edition of Filipino Fridays. For today, I'm excited to offer to you a very traditional Filipino dish. It's a sweet, sticky rice porridge called champorado. Champorado is a chocolate-based porridge that most Filipino households have for breakfast, merienda, which is the snack in the afternoon, and even sometimes for a midnight snack. It's chocolate-based, which means the rice is boiled in chocolate, added condensed milk, dried fish. Yes, dried fish. It's an unusual ingredient, but I wanted to show you how to make this for a traditional Filipino breakfast treat. Champorado is a traditional Filipino adaptation from a Mexican chocolate-based drink. The Filipino champorado has its origins from the Mexican version of champorado, which is a chocolate drink mixed with cornmeal, masa, and granda flour. Now, the champorado in the Philippines started way back in the galleon trade when Mexican traders came to the Philippines. History suggests that during the galleon trade between Mexico and the Philippines, there were Mexican traders who brought to the Philippines the knowledge of making champorado. Instead of using mashed up corn, Filipinos used rice. And, according also to literature, in return, the Filipinos introduced tuba, a local Filipino moonshine made from coconut to the Mexicans. The Filipinos, back in the day, adapted the Mexican champurado by boiling sweet rice, chocolate, which usually comes from fermented chocolate cacao beans, condensed milk to lighten it up and sweeten it up with sugar. The unexpected ingredient in champorado, in the Philippine champorado, is dried fish and a vital part of any Filipino cuisine. Here on the simple dish, you will find that Filipinos are very much into sweet, salty, savory, and that umami flavor that is now just being discovered around the world. So join me in the next segment, my very own version of champorado, where I use not just one type of chocolate, but five Filipino chocolates that made the Champorado base a rich and decadent bowl of humble breakfast. All right, guys. So as I mentioned to you um, earlier in the video, Champorado, our uh, breakfast staple, um, is made of rice, boiled rice and, and softened rice grains in chocolate. But my version really just has five of the um, best Filipino uh, type chocolate that I, I can find to give this a, a nice rich deep flavor uh, is the Nestle Toll House um, Nestle Toll House cocoa. Uh, it's powdered and that's basically what I use for the base um, of, of after I boil the water I made sure that this is uh, mixed in and whisked in uh, really well before I start adding all the other uh, chocolates that I have here. Um, childhood favorites, flat tops, made by a company called Ricoa uh, back home. Flat tops because they're they're tablets. And it's called flat tops for a reason because the top of the chocolate is flat. It's sister chocolate if you will made by the same companies called curly tops and they're the same they're wrapped in, in individual individually wrapped in foil um, where if you open it the top of the chocolate has a curl a swirl and um, that's why we call it curly tops back home and um, both are milk chocolate this is a sweeter um, and lighter in appearance um, compared to the flat top. The flat top has a more, uh, it has more depth in it. This has a little bit more of that grainy texture, uh, grainy texture compared to the curly top. Uh, the fourth type of um, chocolate that I use for my champorado recipe is tableya. Tableya, these are cocoa tablets uh, that I grew up um, consuming um, coming from my province, my home province, and um, all other provinces around uh, where I grew up uh, have uh, their version of the tableya, the cacao. This one came from Batangas, which is a uh, province near Cavite, where I live. 
Um, great addition, base flavor. It, it just gives it a whole new rich uh, depth to um, uh, the chocolate sauce uh, that I prepare. And last but not least, everybody's favorite. Every Filipino kid loves a chocolate. These are um, powdered, powdered um, shape into little brick chocolate. This has peanut in it, it's peanut based, uh, but it's milk chocolate and um, similar to the texture of Nestle Toll House. Uh, this has a finer texture to it. The chocolate has sugar um, and bits of um, chocolate all ground up and shaped into little bricks. So these are the ingredients that I use for the chocolate sauce for the base of uh, the champurada. So there you have it guys, a simple rice porridge dish, champurado, a Filipino favorite. I hope you like the recipe and I hope you share it with your friends or even make it for your own household this coming weekend. If you like this video or any other videos that I put out on YouTube, do subscribe, like and share it with your friends. There's a lot more coming but this initial offering for Filipino Friday is a really joy to make as it is something that's very common, but a favorite. For now, this is Louie, and we'll see you back here in Acorn Hill.